doesn't really matter. Um, anyway, Ben, it's nice to catch up. Yeah. <laughs> from Joe Rogan to <laughs> yeah. graphics teachers. Uh, like five minutes. That guy. Anyway, let's talk mm. Blood Bowl news. And hopefully that's been an appropriate cutting point there. So uh, in the world of Blood Bowl and Games Workshop, there was one little bit of news. We're not going to mention Cursed City because I don't think we Cursed should. What? Yeah, oh. yeah. It's back. Anyway, Blood Bowl, mm. uh, they're releasing, re-releasing the Wood Elf pitch. Uh, they've shrunk the dugouts, and they've released some quite bad dice, Ben. What do you think about uh, the dice? I mean, they're super unreadable, so half of the course for Blood Bowl dice, thanks Games Workshop. Can't see a thing on them. I like the logo. I think I can't really see it. I can't see the logo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I mean, what's the best dice they've done so far? Like, what's the... Blood Bowl? Yeah. I... The original Goblin ones were good. Oh, the, the yellow black and black and, ones, right? Yeah. Oh, they were. Ah, yeah, they're excellent. Yeah. Uh, big fan of the Nobility dice which, and the Undead dice, which are basically the same. Like mm -hmm. the the Ivory dice with stuff, super clear, super readable. Love those. Ogre ones, okay as well, because it's kind of grey. Um. Yeah, those are probably the top ones. The Wood Elf one, bad, and I think the worst one has to be the Nurgle one that they did the other week. That was just like i don't even know what color it was oh that wasn't the same was it the same as the first run of note i think it was slightly worse i think they found I think it way. was i think they made it a bit brighter didn't they something like that they were like oh this is too easy to see i know uh let's go with Nurgle. yeah yeah because i've got these dice, or i had these i think gave them to milton um <laughs> Yeah, and these were the first dice I bought, and they were dark green with orange, and they were actually really good. Like, I was using them for a while, but then I was just looking at the new ones, and you're way brighter, but the orange is the same. You can't see it. <laughs> just, those first ones are fine. It's really baffling. Do you think uh, Do you think they're just limited by, like, the colors, and they, they kind of, like... No, I think they've created a brand, and the brand is bad dice, and they're just sticking. Ah, it's, it's weird, like their isn't pots, it? right? They have their paint pots, which are bad. They must know they're bad. But they will not change them because it's their brand. <laughs> maybe that's part of it. Maybe, like, maybe it's just high fashion. I don't understand a lot of high fashion. I'm like, you, you have, you have zippers on your coats, but no pockets. Yeah. I don't understand this. This is illogical to me. And then, um, I don't know. Games Workshop are like, you know, it'd be really fun. And do you know what people would buy? Dice you can't read. Oh, that's yeah. so swish. Do you know what? They should, they should sell blank dice. And I guarantee, if they said it was a limited release, they'd sell their heck out. They did. Um, the Eisenhower Deepkin dice. No. They may as well be blank. They're not, but they may as well be because they're see through because it's like water. Oh, come and on. The tiniest little lines to identify them. I just... You're just rolling ice cubes. <laughs> uh, you... I think they peaked with the, um, with the squig dice. Oh, God. They were Those awesome. They were so good. They were not the most practical dice. They were clear until the paint rubbed off because it was made of rubber. <laughs> uh, and they made excellent tokens. And I played Marnable Stunty Cup. And I was, was I running squigs or was I not running squigs? I think I was running squigs. And the opponent was also running squigs. But he had the squig dice. And it was so good. It was just so good. <laughs> I love squigs. We need more squigs in Blood Bowl. Uh, I, I guess technically any squigs would be the appropriate amount of squigs as an increase. Anyway, uh, Games Workshop, yep, they've released some more dice. If you are one of those people that absolutely loves Blood Bowl dice, then you've got more to buy. Um, just please don't use them, uh, I guess. And the Wood Elf pitch is not bad. Wood Elf pitch is not bad. Um, but in the world of Wood Elves, smooth transition there, we've got the uh, Succubus Studios Sylvan's Team and Cheerleaders. Now, I think we... Uh, this we kind of teased this one. We said that there was some stuff popping about it, didn't we, Ben? Um, a little while ago, and now it has gone live, and it's already smashed its target. So it's at sixteen thousand against a target of four thousand, one hundred seventy-eight backers. Nineteen days to go. Uh, so March twenty-second, dude, dude. It's mm. we're nearly like oh yeah. Anyway, it's nearly Damn. it's nearly the summertime. So uh, let's have a look at some of the team. I mean. It's an interesting thing. They've gone with STLs, but they've painted the STLs and they kind of look like they belong on the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 
that it's good because you still have the like they've got rotated models which is actually really good you never see on these kickstarters but yeah initially i was just like wait are these just drawings yes yeah. <laughs> look hand drawn um like 2d models which is actually kind of cool um and I, i'd be annoyed if it wasn't like for the fact you can see the 3d version I need to scroll down a bit and see the 3D versions, though. Um, no, so there's two prices for this. Well, there's, there's there's more than two, actually. There's a cheerleader pack, which is £49, and you get 12 cheerleaders, which is two of the different types. So there's a bunch of different types of cheerleaders as well. It's kind of like a, it's a split Kickstarter. But we are here for the teams, really. So £58 will get you the Sylvans pack. Uh, you will receive 15 miniatures, so two throwers, seven linemen, uh, two war dancers, four catchers, and all the stretch goals. And then for £67, you get two throwers, seven linemen, four catchers, uh, two war dancers, stretch goals, and a tree man. Now, the tree man is pretty cool. Um, he is really good. Uh, let's see. We, we've got a little spinny image of the tree man here as well. It, it's a big model. They've got a cool little size comparison as well, which is incredibly useful in these Kickstarters when they do that. Um, yeah, even even though, if you see the amount of pieces this dude comes in. Oh my word, yeah. He's got like a back with all the individual twigs. Hey, at least wow. his jaw isn't separate, so it's not yeah. it's not full Games Workshop. So that's something, I guess. <laughs> it's got a funny little face. He does have a weird little face. It looks kind of like the Super Mario Brothers movie, like the Goombas. Yeah, the Goombas. <laughs> yeah. Or a Nurgling, yeah. actually. Weird one, but, yeah. but it works. Um, ben, £67 for an entire Wood Elf team. What do you reckon? Uh, it's very reasonable. It's really reasonable. Like, I mean, you're talking two Games Workshop boxes and the Tree Man from there. That's going to be more than that with the price hike. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I mean, we're talking about £28, I think, for a team after the increases from, like, Entoyment or something, and then 15 quid for the Tree Man. So, yeah, you're looking, you're right, about £70-something. Pounds. Uh, it's just mm -hmm. it's just how much a Blood Bowl team, a fully kitted out Blood Bowl team is now, really, isn't it? Um, yeah, exactly even dwarves i know people always throw up like oh dwarves is just one box yeah but then if you want to actually like buy the death roller the death roller is a chunky cost as well yeah so uh, something something that's worth noting about the succubus things as well is they're all like female more well, predominantly female sculpts which you know if you want more females in blood bowl there is that um there are quite curvy curvaceous some of them are quite thick um that's <laughs> with two c's and yeah so but i mean they're not egregious there are a lot worse uh culprits out there for the female sculpts but yeah these the, ones seem quite toned down the wood elf team itself yeah they're, they're females but they've all got appropriate uniforms on this is yeah exactly you know if you people yeah i think if you that we always kind of had this thing like I have a daughter, but blah, blah, blah. what team is there that actually she will relate to that this works with? And while, you know, anyone can play any team, um, it is always useful to have a variety of players. And I do like the way that Games Workshop are now kind of mixing up their stuff in their teams. And it's just it's just really normalized now, which is, which is awesome. Now, mm. talking of normalized, there's something here that is not normalized, which is the Akaro chibi bowl team now we did have a look at this i think a couple of uh, a couple of weeks ago on the last episode so they've got um they are 3d printing this so i think the sylvans one was all going to be resin is that right yeah i think so uh yeah resin and shipping eh, estimated delivery in september kind of forget to, when it comes to kickstarter so akaro dice they have got this chibi bowl and each of these models are very like like, like um Ar arcadia quest or um they're just chibi in, in style i think what was it i i kind of described it as what's the uh what's the what's the game where you build your walls and make friends and then get raided oh like clash of clans yeah it's kind of got this yeah clash it, of clans like vibe. it really does actually yeah like the, the big guy <laughs> yeah 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 the big guy and the beards they're just very clash of clans now it's cool, and and I think we talked about this as well a couple of episodes ago. It, it's good to have different variety of like styles, because the great thing about Blood Bowl is as long as you can tell what stuff is, you can use stuff as any stuff, and they've done a really good job here of having different positionals you can identify, but having this really unique style. Um, I personally love like cartoony stuff. I do love the cutimals as well. I mean, I don't know where you stand on the cutimals from Grebo Ben. They're not for me. I can see why people like them, but I, I, I generally like quite in theme models. Yeah, Tiff, Tiff's like a big fan of them. She's like, oh, if you get me one of these, like, I'd probably play. And I, 
I don't believe it. Otherwise, I would have bought all of them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, what could you go? Um, so Chibi Bowl, fifty-four pounds. Uh, one ogre, five linemen, four blitzers, one thrower, two catches, three halflings. So fifty-four pound for a fully kitted out human team. They've also got an alliance Chibi Bowl team as well. One tree man who is kind of like a Chibi Groot, which is, which is cool. I like the way they've done that. Um. One tree man, five human linemen, one human blitzer, one human thrower, one human catcher, two halflings, one dwarf blitzer, two dwarf blockers, one slayer, one dwarf runner, and stretch goals for £55. So they've kitted out several different teams, and then they've got an all-in-one, which is everything ever. Um, ogre, tree man, halfling, yeah, everything for £96. Now that is quite a lot. Estimated mm. delivery of May 2022 um but for one team 55 pounds including big guys is it's it's better value it's that's below the threshold really isn't it yeah and that's physical models right that is physical models yeah they're not doing stls for this that i could see yeah eco resin also they're 3d printing but they're not 3d yes they're 3d printed models but not the printing at home Uh, yeah yeah yeah. they are 3d printing them themselves and passing them on, which I think we're starting to see a bit more of. I mean, Grebo. Yeah, like Grebo do that. Yeah. yeah. Grebo def, definitely trailblazed to that one. Um, now, I, I think I, something that would be nice to see, I'm just going to scroll down in case they have done it, is like actual printed examples. Um, because they printers do vary in quality. Have it so, here. If you scroll uh, down a little bit, there's got a size comparison, which is also incredibly useful. Uh, oh, I've lost it. I've got to zoom in quite a bit. There. Yeah. Uh, so there is a size comparison, which is useful. So you can okay, see... no, it's, it's they're nice, they're nice quality. Um, yeah, because you know if they're printed on like a, a printer like I have, like at the real bottom end of the barrel, then hey, you hey, might not hey, be as quite hey, good. Don't talk about can. the Elegoo Mars like that. <laughs> the, the Mars One is brilliant. Everything, everything printed on that is brilliant. It's none of it's bad. It's just not as good as some of the newer stuff yeah but i mean hey if you agrax everything like i do it really doesn't need to be super 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 <laughs> primo um I, I love this they've got all of their other stuff in there as well you've got dice cups keychains you've got different dice dices dice is dice isn't it uh, i should know that by now reroll markers they've got some cool expandable bits so there's a pet which is a barrel but they've also got a griff they've got a coach they've got a cheerleader wizard um, and you can add little packs. You can add lineman packs. You can add dwarf packs. A chainsaw dude. The squirrel is amazing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the squirrel is good. I this. might actually have to back it just to get a few squirrels. That's cool. Hey, they've actually got a sheepskin guy as well, which yeah, is that's way better than Games Workshop. Two different trees. The tree, the star tree man's quite cool, but this does absolutely look like an iPad game. Oh, yeah, it does. dude. Imagine if they had like a sevens iPad game with this art style uh, that'd be so good <laughs> i mean it would all it would be, be paid good. to win but yeah, yeah and you'd get horrendous ads on youtube but yeah hey we could do it we could finally live the dream <laughs> <laughs> you just record some footage of like i don't know the avengers and then like put that on youtube and not like, in-game footage yeah yeah <laughs> Is that wow oh, i love it oh, this is wicked no mm. i'm a really big fan of this i like the ogre i like the individual models i think it's a cool style it is very different it is very stylized which is something that we say because it is uh it would definitely not blend in with the games workshop teams but it looks cool it looks fun Doesn't to paint to. it lines up with the um it kind of lines up with the the leprechaun team it does yeah very much they'd look pretty spot on playing against uh yeah I like it. I think it's cool. Uh, that is 10 days to go. So it finishes Sunday, March 13th, which is my brother's birthday. Mustn't forget that. Uh, and they're halfway to their goal already. So nice. Oh, good luck. I think they'll be probably be all right. Um, yeah. Cool. Right. Before we move on to the next bit, it is my brother Sam's birthday on the 13th and uh his girlfriend texts me and tiff and was like hey putting you know ha- having having lunch out for sam's birthday uh would you like to come and we're like yeah sounds great that sounds absolutely brilliant and then catch up with my mum like a couple of like a week later or something and she's like oh you know i hope sam likes his surprise lunch and i'm i'm not paying attention at all and then uh and then they pop round and then <laughs> 
So Sam, Sam, Sam and Sammy go and see mum and mum for mum's birthday, and then because uh, they're in the area, you know, they they say hello to us, and uh, they're like, "Oh, I haven't seen you since Christmas." And Tiff immediately, bless her heart, goes straight in there with, "Oh yeah, we're going out for lunch soon." <laughs> <laughs> absolute no hesitation deadpan <laughs> silence like sam's like are we sammy's like no we're not no we're not no we're not and i'm just like oh this is awful this is awful <laughs> and then uh probably about half an hour of just kind of like this awkward stuff happens but i went back and reread the message from sammy and i was like it doesn't say keep it a secret i was like we are in the clear mm. here you have yeah, to stress you can... if you want to keep it a secret you have to write it there do not tell someone um because tiff was just so excited she was like oh yeah we're gonna go out for lunch and uh yep sam didn't know so that was quite amusing <laughs> <laughs> no he does yeah he does um i know bless him right uh <laughs> last bit of blah blah news is 3d fantasy football dugouts volume two now this one is stl this one is stuff you print at home and it is kind of like the display dugouts. Uh, we haven't seen these for a little while, Ben, but they were kind of all the rage a little while ago. I think that was when, like, printing, like, we, we were, at least both of us were definitely still, like, new to it. And it was all really, like, must print everything. And now that kind of novelty is sort of worn off. So it's a lot yeah. less exciting for me personally. But um, yeah, like, these are really cool. And I do really want one someday. It's just a lot of work. <laughs> and... Yeah, printing large stuff whether you've got resin or plastic is 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 not yeah i don't have time for this but it's <sighs> yeah. really good it is really they are really good i like all of these they're super thematic i absolutely adore seeing people bring these to tournaments when people yeah. rock up with like a cool dugout it's best and you're already in the running for like best team things, so. <laughs> yeah having a great display oh out of my leg um the dwarf ones wicked they've got like these the hall bits that just look like statues and things the chaos one's cool you've got skulls bleeding blood because it's chaos and that's what mm -hmm. chaos do chaos is so heavy metal isn't it oh, i just absolutely <laughs> love it absolutely wicked and they've got a lizard man one it's got aztec -y runes and stuff i mean it's really really cool and i don't think the price is all that bad either uh oh, chaos dugout stl file nine pounds ben you mm -hmm. know they're all nine pounds uh 13 pounds with stretch goals i'm not sure what the stretch goals are likely to be what is it for everything all the dugouts 25 pounds uh yep. that's it as you know if you want a dugout it's a pretty good way of doing it uh they've got some cool little stretch goal bits like little spotlights and things it's it's very very cool and you've got the old ones, the undead one and the orcs ones. Oh, I remember these. Yeah, they're very cool. It's just, oh, just the prospect of printing something that large. Uh, <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's just a big, a big commitment. I mean, even with the Mars 2 Pro, like you can print an entire Blood Bowl team on one plate, maybe two plates. Mm -hmm. But none of that is terrain. terrain I wouldn't do this on a resin. Is, I no, would not do this. On no. That. Um, but then uh, having seen the work that goes into leveling and re-leveling and re-leveling the plastic printers, um, you know, our friend Milton's having a horrible time with the, the plastic printer at the moment. Uh, mm -hmm. Even though Trips has given him a ton of encouragement, it just, it, oh, 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 just, yeah, print one. They're fine. They're, I find them a lot easier to deal with than the resin one. It's just, I, I, for me, it's purely the, the concept of, painting all this like getting it all ready and then painting it is daunting when i have so many other things to do like painting wise like hobby wise it's just like this would go straight on the back of the to do pile if, but if you could I'm buy this <laughs> if games workshop did this for 30 pounds would you buy one no ah interesting no i wouldn't i i it's not so much the printing it's just the painting of it it's just the i, I suck at painting terrain like i've been playing 40k for <laughs> since 2014 and i've painted like three bits of terrain it's so boring. Uh, yeah, terrain, so boring. terrain. You you paint like one test piece uh, for big war games, and then you're like, oh yeah, cool. If I do this, this is going to look great, and then you move on with your life. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah that exactly. Definitely happens. And Milton is painting and printing a whole bunch of 40k terrain that he will probably never use right now as well, which is um, <laughs> also how it tends to go. Anyway, that is it for the Blood Bowl news. I have significantly lost. Uh, the show notes so i'm going to assume that we are done with i think we're done the news bits and we'll move on to hobby 
thanks very much for watching we really appreciate your support if you want to help support the channel even further please like and subscribe or come join us on our patreon we have early access to content we get loads of feedback from you guys and we try and do competitions as much as we can or you can get yourself some bonehead podcast merch on our spreadshirt site so if you want to support a team especially for the bonehead championship you can pick up a shirt a mug things like that it all helps support the channel and we really appreciate it anyway links below thank you very much happy blocking